Hi all, Fat Andy here, I'm back. Right, um, the cold is um, starting to subside a bit. Been as rough as hell since last week, it's Friday today. Um, it's snowing like hell outside. Um, yeah, I've really been rough like, you know. Um, just come on last Saturday, uh, half past, uh, that was four hours fine, quarter five, absolutely shite. Just thanks for everyone who sent our messages um, to get well soon. Really appreciate it and everything. Um, I'd like to give a shout out as well um, to one of my followers, subscribers, um, Shrek, his name is. He's asked me to give him a shout out. Um, yeah. Um, but yeah, feeling, feeling a bit better now. Um, still there, still there, but you know, one of them things. I did do a COVID test, so I was negative soon. Anyway, that's all out of the way. What I'm gonna do, just gonna do some um, chicken thighs with a special rub, um, which I've put together. Now I've, I've done this rub before, and that is really, really nice. So let me just get you down there a bit, and then we'll show you what it consists of. Right, we've got two teaspoonfuls um, of mixed herbs, one teaspoonful of onion salt, two teaspoonfuls of onion granules, two tea, uh, sorry, one teaspoonful of smoked paprika, one teaspoonful of black pepper, one oxo cube, and one oxo cube, and three teaspoonfuls of garlic granules. Um, you know, just get this, mix all this up together. This is really, really nice. I've had this, done this loads of times um, in the past. And that really, really is nice. And that, I mean, that saves basically, I think, buying all these um, packs of herbs and that, and spices and rubs. Some of them are okay. Some of them are just, well, you know, be pretty shite, really. Um, yeah, so that's a good mix-up. And then, basically, we're going to get... I've got a tin here. Um with a rack in it. Now, what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna cover, show you first of all, just get a, get a chicken thigh, and then I'm just gonna sprinkle over the chicken, just cover the skin, like so. And then place that on the rack. Now I find by having the rack and that saves the saves the actual um, thighs and that um, from sitting in its own juices and going soggy. So this way it keeps it nice and crisp. So we're just going to cover these. I've only got three here to do to show you what it's like. I just fancied a bit today. So I thought right what the hell let's go for it. So that's the second bit on the rack. Get the third bit. You can put some slits in the skin if you want. Um, I haven't bothered with these. Um, you can actually use it as a marinator overnight. That's another way of doing it if you wish. Um, I'm just covering them like this, making a bit of a mess so the missus is going to go up the wall. Um, let's get some on there, like so. And then what else is left we we leave that and then basically put it in the oven for about an hour hour and 10 minutes i would say around about an hour um and then halfway through flip them over and we use the rest of the rub so i'll get these in the oven and um i'll bring it back when they're done okay we've been in a half an hour so um what i'm gonna do is just turn these over Like so. And then just get the rub and just sprinkle them over on this side. Like so. Pull it back in the oven. Um, no matter how far, I will be done. Okay, um, and where we have them out the oven. Been in there an hour. Nice and crispy. Chicken cooked lovely. 
as I say, by putting them on the rack, um, you then stop them from going soggy. But this rub is absolutely delish. See if I can get a bit up there for you. We can get it on a fork. Turn around, bring her up, and that's what it's like. Look at that. Absolutely lovely. Cool, yeah. Mmm. That is brilliant. And I've still got a cold. Nice and crispy. And I can taste that. Right. There we have it. The Fat Andy's Chicken Rub. That's what we'll call it. That's the recipe. You want to have a look. Um, they're all teaspoonfuls. That's, let's say, three garlic granules. There's three teaspoons garlic granules. But that's the recipe. Give that a go. Really, really nice. Don't just have to have it on chicken. I mean, you could uh, put it on pork or something like that. Um, you know, at the end of the day. But that is bloody lovely. Anyway... Hope you like that, folks. Um, thumbs up if you do. Comments below if you've got any other, your own recipes for different rubs and that. I can always try them. Um, if you haven't subscribed yet, please do. That's all free. Help my channel out. And, um, yeah, I'll catch everyone in the next one. Thanks for watching. Cheers. Stay safe.